Right now at noon, a woman bitten by a shark in the Keys is now out of the hospital. Her husband spoke only to Local 10 this week about the harrowing experience, and Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia has this exclusive. This woman was visiting the Florida Keys from Texas with her family. Her husband explains to us exactly what he had to do quickly in order to save her life. We've learned that she has officially been released from the hospital. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Uh, we're out at Sawyer Key on a boat. My wife just got bit by a shark. Her leg is bad. A scary call for help from a horrified husband who acted quickly to save his wife's life. It's a miracle. And, uh, it's crazy that something like that happens. It'll really put things in perspective for you. A shark attacked his wife, Lindsay, off Summerland Key last Wednesday. The family was on vacation visiting from Texas. She jumped in and, uh, the splash that hit the boat when she landed was, uh, was a pretty big splash. I was like, that's not what happened here. That was not my 120 pound wife that just hit the water. 30 year old Lindsay Bruns jumped in the water. I looked and she came up and just said help. And at the moment she said help, I saw blood in the water and jumped in. Her husband Luke quickly jumped in after to save her. He noticed she had a leg injury, so he tied a tourniquet around her using a rope from the boat. Wait, hurry. I know, hang on, what's the leg was she bitten in? Uh, right leg. Right leg, and you got it tied off? Yes. Now it's tough to see that injury. The wound went from above her knee all the way up to her hip. Their two young daughters on the boat watching it all, traumatized, according to their dad. Before I called 911, I just told them, girls, you need to pray for mama. Medical experts tell us that the in-flight transfusion she received could have saved her life. They did have to do surgery to her leg, so they've set up a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to help out, you can head to our website. Just go to local10.com. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.